The portrait mode is one such thing which every smartphone brand tries to pioneer in the smartphone cameras and the Poco F1 is one among them. But we found no such details in portrait mode shots of Poco F1. So here's a solution in the form of Google camera mode. This is AJ from Textellars and let's find out exactly how it works. The download link for the APK is given in the description below and the credit goes to the developer BSG for creating such an amazing mode. Open the Google camera app and you will find the HDR plus option not enabled by default. To enable it, open settings, move to advanced settings and enable the HDR plus and also the show dirty lens warning if needed. Now you can see the HDR plus icon at the top and you can play around with it. The portrait mode works both on front and rear camera. The blurring algorithm is phenomenal and even the HDR plus works like a charm. Don't mess with other settings in the app, let it run in default setting itself. Even though the camera interface is kinda laggy, the end results are amazing. Here are some samples from Poco F1's camera on the left and Google camera mode on the right. By looking at the pictures, you can judge it by yourself. The portrait mode on Poco smoothens the images a bit, whereas the Google cam has a slight reddish tint in its images. The edge detection in both the cameras are on point, but the depth between the foreground and background is noticeably better on the Google cam. Here in this zoomed image, we can see more details in Google cam than that of Poco's stock camera. When it comes to landscape images, the dynamic range is better in Google cam. The pictures are well detailed, even though cropped further. Here in this image, HDR plus comes into the scene and the dynamic range is much better than the Poco stock camera. The portrait mode on Google Cam doesn't work on objects and detects only human objects. When it comes to selfies, the same scenario repeats where the Google Cam is well detailed and the colors are accurate. One thing we noticed throughout the images is that the Google Cam crops the images a bit to apply its algorithm. It's been AJ, you have been watching Textile Arts. Until next time. Peace.